Let's -a go. Let's -a go. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Ah. This is not Tabletop Tuesday. No, no. This is a very special day. Mmm. A day where after almost two years of plugging it, we're finally playing as the dead to fight the living. <gasps> you don't mean. That's right. We're going to be playing the Dead House Sonata Bloodbath demo. Oh my god! And our, our wonderful friend and creator and creative director of this game, Dennis Dyack, has a very special message for us going into this, and I'll broadcast it to you as soon as I get the game rolling. Oh. Ooh. Here we go. Thank you very much. Me. Yep. There we go. Hi everyone. Welcome to the Dead House Sonata Bloodbath demo. This demo is to illustrate the combat in Dead House Sonata and it is not representative of the entire game. This is simply us focusing on what are the things that you will be doing the most in the game and making it as best it can be. Dead House Sonata is a narrative driven action RPG where you play the undead fighting the living. We'll be eventually introducing new races, new classes, all kinds of things, and eventually even PvP, but this is not the focus of this demo. So please keep this in mind as you're playing it. We hope you like what you see here. Please enjoy and give us as much feedback as you can because together we can make Dead House the best game that it can be. Thank you. There you go. Message Wonderful. from from Dennis Dyack, the man himself. Uh, the, the man behind... Uh, Blood Omen Legacy of Cain. And we've got some... Uh, whoa! What did I click? Well, that's... Not sure. I don't know if it just, like, times out or something and, like, goes to... Oh. The screen is black and it is bonging at me. <laughs> Boom the Beltos! <laughs> Dead man walking. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh God. What is happening? Oh. Hello? <laughs> Dennis. Dennis, help. <laughs> Dennis, please. We're sorry. It's oh, it's because oh we didn't. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Things are happening. Oh, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> All right, oh god. Let me... Let me restart this. Try and see if we can't. <laughs> yeah. Um... Gosh. It did not like me doing that. Uh, just, uh... These kind of snafus can happen with demos, folks. That's... Hi, I don't everyone. think that's so Welcome to the Dead House and that kind of thing. Um, um, but yeah. Oh, Alright, I've got no idea what's happening here. Hang on. Uh, you're good. Uh, I suppose pose will take this time to remind the audience that you can wishlist Dead House Sonata on Steam. That's right. And yeah. They even have a Discord, which I imagine there'll be quite a bit of information there that oh, you yeah. can that you can sink your teeth into. <laughs> Um, but yeah, really? uh, uh, but, you know, Hi everyone, obviously... welcome to the Dead House Sonata Bloodbath demo. This demo is to illustrate the combat in Dead House Sonata, you see, and maybe it is not representative of his, the entire uh, drip. Game. That's why this 
Dennis is simply was us focusing on what are the things playing. that you will be Dennis, doing the most in the game and my, making my it dude. as best it can be. Dead House is crowd. a narrative-driven action Indeed. RPG where you play the undead fighting the living. Well, now it's not leaving you anything. Introducing new races, oh, new classes, all kinds of things, and eventually even PvP. But this is not the focus of this demo. So please keep this in mind as you're playing it. We hope you mm. like what you see here. Please enjoy and give us as much feedback as you can because together we can make Dead House the best game that it can be. Thank you. not wanting to work here. Hang on. Hi, I'm Jack Lindsay, narrative Hi. designer at Apocalypse Studios. Oh God. I'm here to talk to you Are about you the tarot card me? system we'll be using oh. in Dead House Sonata, the blueprints of which you can find in this combat demo. All right, Here's how it's going to work in the full game. All right, hang we on, Jack. I'm going to need you to uh, uh, I'll take, a, take a chill pill when we get this figured <laughs> out. Jack, I hear you. I perceive. I hear what you're saying. However, yo, Jack, I hear what you're saying, but <laughs> come on, I'm just a Hi little everyone. guy. Welcome to the Dead House Sonata. I'm just a demo. little one dead trying this to fight the living here. This is to illustrate the combat in Dead House Sonata, and it is not representative of the entire game. This is simply us focusing on what are the things that you will be doing the most in the game in making it as best it can be. This game's going to have a secret Sinatra Nathan level? Is a oh, narrative driven action <laughs> RPG where you play the undead fighting the living. We will be eventually introducing new races, new a classes, all kinds of things, and eventually even PvP. But this is not the focus of this demo. So please keep this in mind as you're playing it. We hope you like what you see here. Please enjoy ah, and give- I think I understand. Lay on me, big man. What's going on? Oh, God! Ah! Things are happening, as a matter of fact. Okay. As you can see, the game does, in fact, exist. Holy shit. Okay. All right. Hang on. First, however, I'm going to... I. Uh, what if I actually... Did you miss Soul Reaver the other day? Uh, don't know. Mm -mm. Um, no, I did not stream Soul Reaver too. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't. I didn't. I didn't think you did. Yeah, so let me. <laughs> All right. Well. I believe this is a this is a problem with my controller here. Okay. So let me go ahead and just go to my Bluetooth settings. Let me just there I go. Mm. Let me just disconnect that real quick. Alright. So I was kind of hoping to play on the controller, but let's go ahead and try this now. Yeah. Also, Luke, can you hear it, by the way? Um, I don't think you're screen sharing it at the moment. I've been uh, looking ah, yes. on Hi, the uh, stream. Welcome to the Dead House Sonata. I didn't know if demo. it was just helping this it run demo better by not screen sharing it, so I didn't Dead say anything. No, it was... And it is not representative of the entire game. This is simply us focusing on what yeah. are the Okay. Oh, I paused uh, it. All right. I think we're, we're back to normal view. All right. Here we go. All right, things are working properly now. All right, so let's go ahead and watch these introduction videos just to see what we're getting into. Yeah, makes sense. 
Also, give me an opportunity to eat some dinner. <laughs> Ooh. Funny house. <laughs> Funny house so nice. Hi everyone. My name is Dennis Dyack. I'm the founder of Apocalypse Studios. We really appreciate you checking out the Dead House Sonata Bloodbath demo. This is going to be a quick overview of the project for both short and long term. We hope you like what you see here. Dead House Sonata is a narrative-driven action RPG where you play the undead fighting the living. It is a spiritual successor to Kane. The team at Apocalypse has a very deep level of experience. Together, we have worked on such games as Blood Omen Legacy of Kane, Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes, Warframe, Batman Arkham City and Arkham Asylum, Borderlands, and many more games that can't be listed here. All together, hmm. millions of these copies were sold. We have won countless awards, and the executive team has over 90 years of cumulative gaming experience. Dead House Sonata is a third-person action RPG. It is free to play with microtransactions. We're leading on the PC, but we'll be going to every platform, every console, including mobile, and we will start off with one to six player co-op and we will later expand that into PVP and possibly upping up the numbers as well. Dead House Sonata is a narrative driven action RPG where you play the undead fighting the living. The game flow in Dead House Sonata is what you typically see in an action RPG. Players start in their player housing or their crypts. They then from there We'll choose an adventure from the overhead map, whether there's a dungeon or just an outdoor location, whatever it may be, get together with their friends or play solo, go through, level up, find loot, cosmetics, whatever uh, they will get through this, rinse and repeat. Dead House Sonata stands out immediately because the classes that you play are the undead. Vampires, Revenants, Wraiths, Banshees, Ghouls, are some of the starting seven classes that you will see That's in the cool. game. Dead House Sonata no, I think you said the game was free for microtransactions, system, like no Allowing gamers to look any way they want, regardless of what loot they find in game. Maybe it's this allows for ethical monetization, which is key in Western free-to-play games. There will be collectible skills and some very unique things in Dead House Sonata that we'll get to in other videos. Let's talk about the core features in Dead House Sonata. The cosmetics we've already briefly talked about. Free with my Dead House Sonata is also that's a right, narrative that's right. driven yes, yes. action RPG. Mm. We also are focusing on user generated content. <clears throat> Persistence probably being the most focal hub of all the core features. I remember them and talking then about deep the user generated content. Integration. Deep social media integration. Imagine being able to play the game without even having it installed on your system. We are incorporating interactive streaming as a partner of Genvid into Dead House Sonata. So what this means is, as players are playing the game, they can open up a stream and others watching this is really on Twitch, old YouTube, footage. any streaming service, they can literally click a link on that what stream. What they're showing right now is interacting with the game. Really, real really time. old footage. What you're seeing here is an old mm. demo on some old technology, but yeah. this is captured from Twitch. It's actually not captured from the video game itself. We are incorporating various different types of deep social media integration, allowing viewers to participate in the game at various different levels, whether it's becoming the dungeon master, uh, becoming shopkeepers, role-playing, LARPing. Dead House Sonata will open up RPGs like never before with this technology, and we are extremely excited about it. I'm really interested in that aspect. At Apocalypse Studios, that we're big believers in cool. user-generated <clears throat> content. As a matter of fact, we believe gamers Oof. should be able to create content without little barrier, and we are going to provide a micro-platform where their created content can be sold and incorporated into Dead House Sonata. We believe that this will not only engage players further, but it will add to the amount of content that we are creating in a way to improve the experience overall for everyone. We have partnered with groups who create tools for tabletop gaming. These groups are World Anvil, which has excellent storytelling tools. I love World Anvil. And Project Dios, that helps World you create so maps, 
and adventures from a continental level, procedurally generate cities all the Ooh. way down to detailed dungeons. Together, oh, these snap. tools that are already up and running &D, will be incorporated uh, into Dead House uh, setting Sonata. Idea so players who want to create adventures really and stories will not have out. to worry about the complexities of learning a video game engine oh, hell yeah. and can just Project jump right Deus in and focus on their creativity. Hmm? Oh, Persistence oh. and ages. <laughs> this is oh, one of the burping. really central core features of Dead House no, Sonata that, that really yeah. makes it separate and apart from many now games he's talking about it. it allows us to well, incorporate explain, narrative into a multiplayer the... game where previously it has been so difficult we are going to permanently forge one of one of the coolest things about dead house sonata in my opinion um is the fact that there will be a linear timeline in the game that develops as people play it <laughs> ah so there's going to so when you hit the ground running, like, is when the first people to, you know, play the game. Yeah, if you're if you're one of the first people who have have bought the founders packs and will have access to the first age, those people will be the movers and shakers of the world in general. And. Basically, uh will lay the brickwork for the the story with their own actions. It's really cool. I We're love saying that. You're saying he's a character a... named Slapass, so he is chronicled throughout the ages. <laughs> if you want to do that, you can make it happen. <laughs> I I don't think that'd be my plan, but you know what? <laughs> you know what? All power to you. But no, this uh this really reminds me of um I remember there being a I mean this this all feels very, very ambitious. Like I I hope this works out because that is such a Oh yeah. Such a cool idea. The uh, um there's a lot of ambition here. Uh Dennis has Dennis has gone on to say himself, I think, that there is there's a lot of experimental technology that's being used in Dead House Sonata right now. And I, I think that's really cool. It's really ambitious. Um, mm. I just hope it goes well. Uh, because yeah. I, I've, I've seen ambitious projects have to uh, compromise a lot on, on the, their scope. And definitely sp specifically in the Legacy of Kane series as well, there's been a lot of it. So I'm just hoping that this is this is the time that Dennis can really uh, make it happen. Like spread his wings and like really like get to. Oh, yeah. Get to make this thing fly. I mean, just the premise alone of being able to have this action RPG where you play as like these monstrous but really cool characters is just fantastic to me. I think that's just the best thing about it. Mm -hmm. um, like, on a very simple level. Yeah. Uh, I would have to agree. And then, just like, the integration with shit like, you know, World Anvil and all these RPG tools is just. Oh, yeah, the World Anvil is just like wiki on steroids. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to just. Look something up real quick. Yeah, of course. Okay, I was just making sure of something. I was like, "Gosh, I hope I'm not showing off stuff that I'm not supposed to." But no, uh, I've uh, I just double checked, and yeah, we're we are good to go. Uh, I'll go ahead and continue and store people's histories up into the cloud. And with this technology, every weapon, every adventure, 
all of characters' lineages and their stories and where they came from will start crafting, if you will, a Cimmerillion of the history of Dead House Sonata. Players will be able to hear about these other experiences from other players, and this data will be used to enhance their adventures and future adventures in these locations. So characters' like names, deeds are rings. permanently stored. So everything in Dead House Sonata will have a history. Every artifact, item, sword, shield, everything the player does will be stored. This will create some very unique experiences, and in a sense, just by playing the game, you will be crafting. Remember from where you came. Okay, so this is this is going to show off a bit more of uh, the experimental tech. I believe this system that is being used here particularly is, I think it's randomly generated animations just based off of the sound bites. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's it's nuts. I remember they used a similar technology in um, Metal Gear Solid 3, actually, for the cutscenes to match the lip flaps to the sound bites. There it looked kind of oh, wow. janky, but here it looks great. Um, I mean, I mean that was like PS2. We're talking about like yeah, <laughs> a, a game from how much long ago? Like oh god, was that two thousand two? Mm, it, it was during the end of the PlayStation 2's lifespan. I remember. Yeah, MGS. Dead House Sonata? That, that is correct. Almost 20 years. Oh, I'm gonna shrivel up and die. Yeah, 18 years. <sighs> the game is old enough to, is old enough to drink here. Not not so much in America. I was eleven? Holy fuck. Yeah. Bread house Chibata? That's right. Uh, I'm very <laughs> cautious about the fact that there's some microtransactions. There's very rarely been indicative of a good gameplay experience. I think Dennis himself has said that this is going to be as far away from pay to win as possible. Any any microtransactions will, uh, at least from what I remember hearing about this, will be purely cosmetic. I I I. I don't think Dennis is the kind of developer to add a pay to win function to his game about a narrative story driven experience. It just seems like a bit it would seem like a bit pointless to me. Yeah, that's just my opinion. Do so. Uh not not gotcha mechanics? No. I don't I I very much doubt that there is gonna be gotcha mechanics in this. I no, I I'm fairly certain that this is a class based RPG like you. We've been bamboozled As... by developers before. I I I serious I I'm there. I'm with you. But in this particular instance with this team, I seriously doubt that uh harmful microtransaction practices are going to be in play here. I seriously doubt that they'll be going in that direction. Uh, but here's some more of that experimental tech uh, being showed off. Remember, I, I believe, from what I remember, I have to hold on to the fact that not every studio is money-grubbing and going to ruin our experience. <laughs> yeah, exactly, LJ. Hmm. What the rotting man talking about? Let's find out. Uh, this is the, I believe the technology being used here is, I, I don't want to misconstrue anything, so forgive me if I, my yeah. information is outdated or, or off, uh, but this is procedurally generated animations based off of, uh, based off of the sound. Dialogue. Yeah, I don't I don't think any of this is hand animated, so let's let's see what this is all about. Brutal degradation, a torrent of never-ending pain. Remember the day you were created. Hatred, malice, and slavery you were fated. 
Remember your mortal life so long ago. Injustice, corruption, and unending woe. Remember the institutions you embrace. The futile hope. Witness their fall from grace. We've got uh, we've got confirmation or, or some somewhat confirmation from the chat. Uh, Varric Keldoon, another another uh, staple dead house community name, uh, says it's Taffy T A F I. Uh, huh. Taffy. Hey, what's up, Varric? So um, let's have a look here. Taffy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that saltwater stuff? No. <laughs> not, not quite. <laughs> Is that that one guy from Diablo? No. God, no. You sure it gets me that? I don't think this looks that bad, honestly. It doesn't look bad at all. Yeah. Like... I, I mean, for one thing, I'm I'm the kind of person that doesn't need the highest fidelity with their video games. Like, I'm I'm the kind of guy who will go on a PS One and still think that Spyro the Dragon looks amazing because <laughs> you know the color choices and the design. So this is completely oh, for the purpose. I mean, like if they. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, oh, yeah, thank sorry. You. I'm I'm just looking on. Uh, tools built for yeah. Uh, I'm looking on there. I think this is it. At least they they do wow, stuff for avatars for like games and VR chat and stuff like that. Also, kind of, we're at like seventy people. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody's. Everybody wants to get in on the the the, the dead house and to, they at least they, they want to they want to see them dirty rowdy boys. Indeed. Peace. Remember the reason you are here: persistence, focus. Give them fear. Remember what they did was wrong. The old world has made you strong. The old world is very interesting from the standpoint of it is procedurally generated animation from a voice file. Imagine oh, yeah, now we can take He's all of everything. the detail that we had from the persistence <laughs> in the worlds that I talked about in the previous slide, and now we can start generating stories and adventures for players. This also can be incorporated into some of the deep social media aspects where players can LARP and jump in, tunnel into the game through interactive streaming and become characters real time that are acting and role playing. This technology is really gonna allow us to tell stories that we never could before and is very exciting and we think is a game changer. Narrative driven metagaming. We see metagaming as the future of gaming. Some of the earlier games that we worked on. Now this isn't this isn't metaverse, as far as I'm aware. This isn't this isn't this isn't any of that crypto or NFT bullshit. This is just a just a terminology. Just just yeah, because people need to remember that words actually mean things and don't just mean the first thing that comes to your head. Meta is literally a term to speak about like you know, a meta-narrative, like, well, you know, I'm sure Miss... I'm, sh I'm, I'm sure, sure he'll Ms. explain Ms. it, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Blood Omen, yeah. Legacy of Cain, and Eternal Darkness, were single-player games where players sat in front of their console <laughs> as the story was told to them where they would sit back and experience it. All these games were premium. This was the golden age of gaming where narrative really made a big difference for gamers. Today we're in the multiplayer era, where you see games like Fortnite, League of Legends, where story has really taken a backseat. And out of this multiplayer era, you now have 
you know, esports and other streaming personalities that have taken over the media landscape pretty much as your marketing and advertising. Where we Hello. see the industry going is towards the meta space where people start playing games outside of the game. <laughs> so if you look at all these technologies that I talked about earlier, combining them in unique and interesting ways allows us to open up to the meta space where gamers who are just watching something on Twitch can suddenly join the game, where we can do things like allowing people to interact with the story real time or just by playing the game and creating histories they're affecting the story. Mm. We are taking people back to the early days of the Greek plays, where the audience could not only interact with the people in the play, but they could decide who lived or died. They could throw <laughs> tomatoes at the actors or get up on stage themselves. This is how we plan on changing the way people experience games. All right, so that's the overview of Dead House Sonata. The quick one anyway. We invite you to a longer conversation as we could talk about these topics for hours and go into much more detail. We hope you like what you see. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's restarting. All right. So, and if you have any questions about the game in itself, there's the website where you can access the forums, and there's also the Discord as well, where you can talk directly to the developers and with other like-minded individuals in the community, such as Varric Kaldun. Yeah, uh, and, and I, uh, I, let me just say I'm glad I have someone in chat who can clarify a lot of the information that's coming out of here. <laughs> and um, and I and I just want to. And I just want to note, because I've just looked up, um, you can still buy, uh, I believe, some of these Founders Packs. So. There are new Founders Packs. You, you can't, yes. you, you don't have access to the old ones. The old ones are gone. Uh, as I, as I mentioned, I think during fall? Yeah. I remember you saying like there was a sort of first. It is like, just it is just supporters packs now. Founders packs are gone. Ah, I see. Yes, unlike me, I am a founder. Yes, mm. <laughs> I have purchased my founders packs because I I did it really early. Mm. Uh, we've got a couple of other things. I haven't seen. Well, I've seen these. I've seen the radio plays. Uh, I, hell, I believe I was even in one of them. Um, Holy shit. But uh, I want to see these videos first and foremost, and also I want to go get another taco. So let me go ahead and just put this on. Just to, Dennis will explain what everything is all about, and it's some really cool stuff. Trust me. Oh yeah. And then we'll get. Hi everyone. The Welcome to the Dead House and Not a Bloodbath demo. This. You were asked not to show off the other videos personally? Ah. Well. Uh. <laughs> in that case. In that case. We'll just. That was like three uh, weeks ago? Uh, meh. We'll, I, we'll I probably, play it safe. I probably ought to, ought to ask. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you want to still go get your talker, man, I can. Uh, I'll, uh, uh, I'll just back out of this for now. Yeah, I'll be here with chat. Uh... <laughs> yeah, like... Wow. A <laughs> quick vamp? Well, we will, we'll get to the vamping soon here. We will, as the kids say, we will start morbing very soon. Like, we, I promise yes. you. All right, I will be right back. Don't you be right don't you worry back. about a thing. Ah. Oh. All right. Uh. <clears throat> Brave screeches. <laughs> If you don't believe there'll be, like, a glut of, like, different Morbiuses that come into this game, I I think 
that's just going to be an unfortunate reality. Because, honestly, I think taken on its, like, taken seriously, this is going to kick ass, uh, from what I've seen. Like, all of this looks, all of this sounds very cool. And from the gameplay I've seen, it does look pretty promising. But of course, we won't know until it's here. Also, the next big patch should be on Thursday. Next to that's not stream with Dennis. Is always... <laughs> well, all right, yeah. Tune in for tune in for that, guys. If you're interested in seeing anything further on uh, on Wednesday at 4 p.m. EST. Wow. Yeah, I. I, I will admit at first when they were like said meta player, I was like a little bit confused about the terminology, but now but now that that's been explained to me, that does sound very much a <laughs> That does sound very much, you know, what they're going for, like this meta narrative sort of thing. Oh, very, very cool. <laughs> uh, one moment, guys. I'll be right back. <sighs> I am back. Let me just look on the forum here and okay. see if I can find apologies. I was just checking on my cat. Yes. Um. Yeah, I just wanna. Make sure I'm not. Stepping on any toes here. A first age vampire can start a lineage of sorts, so it's definitely in the realm of possibilities. Oh yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. I I I, I have the Alistarium in in uh V rising and I want to want to boot that up in in dead house as well. Hell yeah. Start my own clan. <laughs> Start a clan, buy a family. <laughs> Hear them howling, my hungry children. It's so cool, like just just the potential to create these narratives in games. Like I think that's like a really it's a really it, it's the dream really, because like video games are that interactive medium and you know, seeing something this this different being attempted with it is just really cool. All right. But well, uh, until I get some confirmation about uh, these other videos here, why don't we go ahead and just get started uh, with the combat itself? Oh yeah. So let's see. What are we playing here, Connor? Well, uh, this is a vampire. Not only is it a vampire, this is Lord Zorin. One of the uh, prime movers and shakers in Dead House. Uh, I believe is the general. Huh. Uh, okay. Yeah. As you can see here, he's got some real, real creepy stuff going on. Let's see if we can get... Uh, 
closer look at some details here on his face. Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah. He does have, does have a bit of the Nosferatu about him. Oh, yeah. It's... it's uh, I believe in, in lore, Lord Zorin is, like, ancient. Like, he's really... I think he is, he is older than the current leader of Dead House. I'm not sure if they refer to him as a king. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. I've hit the space bar, and now I'm a ghost. Um, yeah, we have some sort of mist effects. So it looks like this is kind of a sort of cane like uh, character here, so... A little bit, yes. Uh... Ain't he a looker? Yeah. He's a real looker. Uh, oh. Let's see here. And yes, I believe this is explained as sort of the... Oh. oh yep. The three... Uh, the three little bubbles you see down there in the bottom left-hand corner uh, are sort of your... They're sort of three different health bars. Uh, they're not exactly mana or stamina. Uh, the the red one is your physical health. It's the most straightforward of the three. Um, that's your your basic. You take you take damage. You you lose uh, some of your blood and you lose some of your physical health. And when all of that is gone, you switch over to the ethereal world, which is your... I believe this is essential? No, the, the green one is essential. This is spiritual, I think? Spiritual health. Interesting. Mm hmm. Physical, magical, and essential, yes. The red one is physical, the blue one is magical, and the green one is essential. Uh. Yes. Um. Okay, so. Uh, Not exactly a combo, but I can string together multiple hits as well. Uh, just taking a look around here, and I'm trying different keys just to see if I can get anything to happen here. Mm -hmm. And we've got some... Uh... Well, Oathbreaker John, you want me to plug Dead House Sonata? We're literally playing it right now. This this game where you play as the undead to fight the living. <laughs> Zen Lita, thank you for the 34 months. Oh, hey, is this Dead House Sonata, the five-player action RPG where you play as the dead to fight the living? That's the spiritual successor to the Legacy of Kane series helmed by Dennis Dyack? That's the one. Isn't it a six-player now? Uh, I believe I believe in the video we saw it was one to, it was one to six player. They seem to drain at a decent rate. You have to feed to keep them charged. I b believe that is correct. Uh, and this is all very much... Uh, I should reiterate, this is all very much... Uh, not, still not in for, prototype. Yes, still in, in prototype. It's still in this alpha stage at the moment. It is only just together enough to get this, uh, get this small combat demo up. This is only showing off the potential of what one aspect of the game might be. This is not reflective of the final state of the game in any sort. Uh, but this is just to show 
this is just to show that the game does exist. And I haven't been talking about a, 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 a pipe dream for these two years. Uh, all right, so how can I spawn in some guys, I wonder? Hmm. Um... What's a pipe dream? It's a dream that will never come true. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right. you gonna make it you gonna make us explain that <laughs> uh, a pipe a pipe dream is basically a dream that is so ambitious it's practically impossible or it's a dream that includes pipes a dream that I mean... you smoke man <laughs> um debug I've entered debug. Mmm, there we go. That seems. Maybe if I hit the F keys. <sighs> That's right, Kuronozu. That's right. Um. I don't think playing. Step on the thing in the middle. Ah, yes, the big glowing thing. I probably should have... Probably should have, uh... Why did I assume Wait. this was like a trap or something? <laughs> yeah. Alright. I mean, in some respects. Now we've got some people to fight. Here he comes! <laughs> <laughs> a bastard! <laughs> Man approaches. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I like your. Ow! I like your. Oh god, that hurt a lot. Oh wow. Eh. Force to choke this bit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was actually really funny. This game is amazing. <laughs> That's pretty fucking cool. Now you gotta oh. admit that. There he is. Oh god! Oh my! What the hell god. happened to him? Oh. <laughs> you god is my dis witness. This man is broken in half. You discombobulated him, dude. Oh my am. Can you f can you feed on him? Are you okay? <laughs> hey, you. No, nah, he is he is dead as a doornail. I think I need to. He's dead as a spawn on another sonata. guy. He's he's a dead dead guy sonata. Very <gasps> <laughs> oh no, not another one! Oh wow, they. Also, uh. I like their little battle stances. Ooh, these, we're, these, we're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna ax have, you. Have fun and good luck. Alright, I will. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, I drank him. And he's still alive. I oh yeah. <laughs> you foredored him. Call your dogs! They can they feast on your corpses! <laughs> uh Varric, before God. you go, is uh The, uh, the, oh god, the, the voices, what's the, what's the status on commenting on that, if you know.
Uh, he says he doesn't know what you mean by that. Uh, the, the, the voice actors are like Big Zora here. Because I, I know some things and I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say them. I could I could pause all this and go and look at your emails. I don't know who does the voices aside from the gas tag. I will refrain then. Devilish. Yeah. I... That's so cool, and I I, I love the afterwards like. I don't know if that- oh my god. Uh, yeah, once you enter the, the sort of magical, spiritual realm, your abilities do different things, and I'm, I'm, I'm sucking the magic out of them. You've become a soul. <laughs> oh, hey. This is really cool. <laughs> eh. Oh I, god. I, I, I took his blue. <laughs> I took his blue. Delicious. Oh. Oh my god. Got him. That was pretty <laughs> vicious. <laughs> I ran out of suck. You ran out of suck. Oh, it actually costs me magic in order to 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 suck. All right, I'll have to slurp some magic in that case. Get some Powerade back. Get some Powerade back, and ah, uh, well, I've I've transported back. And I have full health. So we got a mist. He's continuously slipping on, on this puddle of blood here. And he's not falling <laughs> over. <laughs> um, is there like another transformation you can do that utilizes the essential energy or? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. At least not yet. I'm just saying, you're like. To complete the set, we need we need wolf form. Oh yeah, definitely. There there is going to be there is a werebat form. There's a werebat form. Yes, that fucking rocks, dude. I was just uh, asking in the dead house. Wow! Dead house. Uh, <laughs> chat, if there was anything I should refrain from mentioning, and I'm sure someone will get back to me soon. Uh, I'll help you out, buddy. <laughs> I'll help you out. Dying. <laughs> <laughs> just like launch the Oh, he's still slipping on this little puddle of blood here. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> this is just sadistic at this point. <laughs> oh, oh, I got him. Don't worry. Can I pick any of these up? I don't believe so. Um. Target on off. Is there uh it would be fun if you can like pick if you could like pick up corpses and like throw yeah. oh. oh. Vampire! Oh. oh oh god. Oh oh it's not a toggle. Okay. Oh it is a toggle. Ah, I see. Okay, okay, okay. We have our hand axes. We will defeat you, vampire. 
Also, I, I, I noticed there's like a blue sort of thing at the end of uh, these axes. I'm not sure what that's supposed to imply precisely. Maybe it's like... <laughs> Maybe it's like some material that is... Uh... Oh my god! <laughs> it's raining men! It's raining men! Hallelujah, it's yeah. raining man. Right. Hey man. I'm gonna kill you guys out of some blood. Absolutely bloody blood. Oh, I popped his head. Yikes. Oh my, oh my god. How's it feel? Him. <laughs> this dead house is pretty like Sonata. Yeah. Take a sip from my thing here. Didn't have it open. I wonder what this, uh, what Spain is be. I wonder what the little meter uh, around my health bars is supposed to imply. Spin. I took a sip from my trusty Vault 13 can. That's right. Let's spawn some more, shall we? Sounds like he's he's saying something whenever he slices in. Oh, yeah, it is. Let's listen. What is that? Did it say oh. what is that? I think it might just be some uh, spooky language. Oh. I think it's got something to do with this uh, meter over here near my health bar. Oh god. Oh well, they got like eight going in the shit. My height music? Oh my god, this is. Lord, Lord Zorin's Bury the Light. <laughs> this is my. This is my jam. I did it! I am jamming. Put this Your on honor, my Spotify. I'm... Your honor, I'm fucking bawling. Your honor, I am bawling. By the honor of the night, I am bawling. <laughs> Despite your youthful arrogance, you're balding, Kane. Now be gone. <laughs> you amuse me, Kane. Now be gone. That, that I'm... guy is dead. <laughs> Yo, dead. Now be gone. I'm about to watch Supermarket Sweep. Ooh, it's like some, it's like some kind of hate meter. Ooh. Domina, oh, my team, my Luna, I live it on no 
Let's see if we can get that meter all the way up. But yeah. <laughs> no shit. No. <laughs> um. <laughs> no. Let me get the Huh. I don't think the magic actually puts up your what? your like a uh, meter. Interesting, so you have to be Ooh. in the thick of it to actually increase it. Yeah, I think it might be some sort of uh, rage meter or something. Some I have no idea. Oh, I have oh, achieved oh, special. Happened? Oh, well, I was talking about a wear bat, and there you go. <laughs> That well, was goodbye. loud as shit. <laughs> that was, that was, yeah, that was very loud. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this bitch down a little bit. <laughs> you just want scritches? Oh god. There we go. Also, all of these blood spatters and, and corpses. Uh, are sticking around for quite a while, and there's been very little drop in performance. At least that I have noticed. <laughs> again, yeah. again, the audience says, <laughs> "Okay, guys." Well, all right. So I, I think notes definitely um. I mean, you just use a standard controller, right? Uh, I'm using mouse and keyboard right now. But what I was saying earlier was like, it seemed like it was having trouble with your uh, with your controller. Yeah, it seemed like it was having a little bit of issues with my controller, but I'm not terribly yeah, you... put off by that. Uh, most of my ARPGs that I do play are played with uh... mouse Woo! and keyboard. Ah, uh, yeah, I just, I just got smacked. I just oh. got smacked, uh, and now my physical health is gone. So now... You're in the spirit world. Yeah. Interesting. You know what? Give me, give me just a second. I wanna. I don't wanna get blacklisted, so I wanna make absolutely sure. Cause I'm, I'm getting messaged. To, nope, nope, that's not what I wanted. You getting messaged? I'm getting messaged. Uh, the message says, "To my knowledge, the NDAs are being lifted, so anything goes." It's basically public knowledge at this point. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, while you're working that, I'm just going to check what that noise outside my door is. <laughs> yes, let me just review this document. This link from my email has expired. Shit. I shall view this completed document. Fuck. Or perhaps I will log in to my... 
got you for 10 more minutes to answer questions at least. Yeah, I'm just... I am just checking... something really quick in my email just to make sure... Absolutely sure I'm not about to blacklist myself. Because that would be bad. Oh, here it is. Oh, right. So it turns out that my house was making the weird noise. Ah. Yeah. Typical vampire shit. <laughs> oh, you know. Count Widget is your house haunted. No, he just lives in England. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not untrue. Like, a lot of the um, houses here, when it's windy, they'll be, like... It, it will kind of, like, just do the construction, go through the brickwork and just make, like, small sounds and stuff. Song starting back up. Oh, blood is great. Blood is good. I drink blood like a big boy should. <laughs> oh, let's get that meter filled fill. all the way up. Oh, Just let's more out. A few more. It's full. I don't know what that means. Okay. Uh, is it? Can we like press a button? Is uh, it just means I'm really cool. It means that you did it. It means that you have achieved. Full. He's he's just British. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> It means that you've achieved full vampire enlightenment. Or should I say, in darkenment. Because <laughs> as a creature of the night. Because as a creature of the night, you cannot be in the light. Just curious, what will happen if I just let my magical essence run out. Ah! And here we are. Uh, as some of... I'm playing through uh, uh. Soul Reaver right now, so this should look familiar. Huh. Interesting. This is, this is the big, big funny soul world. I, I took his soul goop. He's just chilling now. <laughs> He's just like, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm I'm tired, old Zoin. <laughs> no Zoin. What happened if I go to sleep? <laughs> My soul is going to sleep. Oh. Well, now we. Yeah. Huh. So we. Briefly went back to the magical realm, and now we're in the the essential realm, the the spiritual realm, so to so to speak. The soul. Although I am curious.
and I'm just curious what happens if we let that run out. A tired. <laughs> you sucked out all my soul, oh, I'm so tired now. Uh, well, it looks like my health bars are all gone now. Hmm. I think got a little bit back. I'm not sure if if true death has been put into this quite yet. Yeah, there's no true death yet. I want to nix the I mean, that... solo link. They switch from it. Ah, beans. When did that happen? I've been using that uh... link for years at this point. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. Well, hang on one moment. Ah, uh, it's no wonder I haven't been getting any money. <laughs> like six months ago, ha, huh? jeez. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Ooh. You know, I'll have to get that figured out. Yeah. Later. For now, I'll just go to the... I'll just go to the... Nightbot prompt. I have to get a new affiliate. Link. What? What? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I've been busy. All right. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna disable the command until further notice. <laughs> You got yours day one of the new update. Well, look at you. <laughs> I've been a little busy. <laughs> been a little busy, have you? I've had a lot to do. Don't always have time. I haven't quite been able to keep up with the... Uh... Well, get that up there. Name of blood, name of gore. Balance and vitality. We gotta drink these guys. Gotta slurp them up. Gonna slurp up that minty green freshness. Mm. If I hold down the delete key, I'll refill the blood meter. Or back says. <laughs> oh, and there we go. Whoa! Wait a minute. He's all numbers. Oh, I see. Look at him. <laughs> I see you to the beat. You My vampire vision gives me accurate readings of your armor. <laughs> ah. Now, I can see every aspect of your being, for I am Lord Sorin. And I do be Sorin. Lord. I be. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be soaring to the honeys like whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see you later, Varric. <laughs> oh, oh wow. You turned a bit to me. I gooped him. And the bloodstains are all still there. The bloodstains on the carpet. 
So are, are we just... Oh, it even makes different noises if you're walking through blood. Ooh. Hee hee hee, funny goopy. Hee hee hee. Funny. Funny goopy goop. Alright, but, um... Yeah, overall impressions, this looks really cool. And I can't wait to see what some of the other, like, character abilities are. Yeah, absolutely. This is just, uh... <sighs> This is just the vampire's play style at the moment, I believe. Uh, yeah. Kane's a bit uglier than you, than you remember. Ah, yes. Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you are just jealous of my plump, kissable lips, Kane. Oh, God, a blast from the past. <laughs> I did you watch that. You are just jealous day. of my plump, kissable fringes, seeing as you have no discernible lips of your own. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Waziel. Waziel. This is why your brothers make fun of you behind your back. I hate this family. I wish I was never reborn. <laughs> Just, I think my favorite joke of the entire abridged was like the fucking, was at like the fucking well, just <sighs> cast him in. <laughs> just like the fucking Take it, taking a pull from the vape. <laughs> that was fucking inspired, I just... I've got, I've got time. I can rip some cotton before I throw my favorite son into the world. <laughs> Take a rip from my pineapple vape. that shit. Slurp. <laughs> Slurp. Oh, I seem to have a yellow bar around my uh, health bars as well. I'm not quite sure what that one's supposed to be. But it is. Yeah. Fabled, yes, indeed. Well, oh, he was actually like terrified. Hang on. Wait. Whoa! Where did he go? <laughs> <laughs> he crumpled. He crumpled. You removed his veins from his body, my dude. Lol. Dude. <laughs> Low the bow. Oh. Undead. So there isn't any other way you can leave this uh, particular area, is there? Um. This 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 big arena, no. This is just gotcha. me. This is just for the purposes of the combat demo. Fair enough. I didn't know if you could uh, follow oh, the big. They're climbing each other. They're forming Mecha Shiva. <laughs> Mecha Shiva. <laughs> D 
deboned him like a chicken. Dear God. <laughs> Get him. There is sort of, uh, he's a bit terrified. Hmm. It's scared. <laughs> it, it, it never gets, it never gets old. It never gets old. There's a simple pleasure to just be able to throw around a man like a ragdoll. Are we bad people? Maybe. Maybe. Get it. Zombies ultimate move to just turn into a swarm of zombies and drag your enemies down. That would be pretty cool. Ooh. Uh, yeah, and as I stated before, this is only the uh, this is only the vampires sort of general combat style. There will be other classes that you can play as, such as the revenant, the wraith, the ghoul, the lich, the lich, indeed. <laughs> Banshee. It, let me just try to see if we can get some extra details in here. Oh, God, I can smell him. <sighs> and who could forget dear Rat Boy? He. <laughs> <laughs> yes, our, our lovely Rat Boy, Lord Zorin. He, he is quite... I, I, I do think he's quite stunning. Honestly, like this is a really cool, like character design. I oh yeah, this armor is very neat, very spiky. Very spiky. Very spiky. Is the vampire the only one in a playable state right now? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure if they had uh, others, others ready to go, they would be showing them off as well, but. Such is the way of a of a demo still in I think pretty much still in beta at the moment. I mean this is this is What would I even call this? It's not even really beta, it's more like an alpha. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Let's let's see here. Well, we've made quite a mess. The bloodbath <laughs> is pretty apropos. Hmm. Um. Proof of concept? I think so. Uh. Definitely proof of the combat, which does look pretty solid. Indeed. Is it time for Dead House Pinata? Dead Mouse Pinata. Oh god, here we go. Let's see. What's the latest? Increases base rotation speed of vampire by 50%. Vampire rotation speed now <laughs> scales with bloodlust. Oh, that must have been that uh, bar that oh. was filling up. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Improved animation blending of vampire during turns. Fix an issue with the transition to the reveal camera cinematic to which the camera would occasionally move into strange locations. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. 
But foolish. But foolish. Uh... But yeah, that's uh, that's bloodbath. That is the bloodbath combat demo for. Dead House Sonata. I'm just trying to see if I can show off some of these other videos they've got on here, just to give you even even more of an idea of what uh, what's being aimed for. Indeed. I mean, I just speak for myself, but. So far, I, I think I think there's a lot of positive stuff here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. What? Shit. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> now I'm gonna say a slur. <laughs> 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 no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Luke, no. Luke, no. Uh, I'm too powerful. Too powerful, indeed. I'm just looking at the Dead House Sonata. Eto. YouTube channel. Which you yourselves can check out Indeed. on YouTube. Indeed. Uh, YouTube.com slash C slash Dead House Sonata. It's pretty cool. And everyone that does it becomes cool, I guess. I was going to say something like, becomes my best friend, but I, I don't want to get that parasocial. <laughs> Let's keep some separation here, hey? Separation of church and state. Tee hee. Tee hee. The fifth demo, Spinal Tap. Viscera Toilet. Vein Shower. A vein Shower? Oh shit. Cool. That's a pretty cool name. That's pretty Pajer. <laughs> Pajers! Oh, attention! Uh, zoom appeal, uh, Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Do Mario swing your arms? Your arms. Uh, I decide. Side. Come on, start to talk to the Mario. I am God. Then you know. <laughs> I am gonna slap my nuts. <laughs> I'm waking up to ash and dust. Oh, I'm a brow and I sweat my nuts. <laughs> I'm breathing in my testicles. <laughs> 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 Seventh demo, brain nozzle. Oh my god. 
Guys, uh, they can't use... Guys, if you keep suggesting them, they won't be able to use... you got to stop. Or else they're not going to be able to put any names to the tempos. <laughs> they can't use any of these now. What the heck? <laughs> what the fuck, guys? What the French, Toast? <laughs> Hang on. Guys, how can you do this? I hear Jackie Chan singing Oh my oh mama Shinderu. I beat, beat my meat muscle. Uh This is just us randomly saying shit <laughs> while I'm looking for, for some looking for explain. proof looking for Why? proof of uh, of concept yes <laughs> yes for some reason I can't explain why we why live in a society you live in a society where gamers don't rule the world. Don't rule the world. <laughs> <laughs> Why, gamers? Just looking through one of Varric's VODs to see if he throws on some videos or something, because I don't want to... I want to get at least a little bit more in depth here but i don't want to get in funny trouble don't want to get in true play yes i don't want to get in trouble <laughs> bubble bubble toilet trouble trouble cauldron boiling cauldron nda boiling. and blacklist bubble <laughs> something can be something wicked this way comes <laughs> come come it is time Kay. time for you to come and there's our view wow wow Wow! Incredible! So this is Dead House Nada, the action RPG where you plays the dead to fight the living? That's right! <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure they talk about the... the... the skill system here. Uh, also, this is, yeah, this is pre-alpha footage that, that we're seeing here. All of this is pre-alpha, not even, not even beta. Yeah. E Did House and all the action video? Yeah, uh, yeah. Let me, you know what? Let me go ahead.
Uh, I also believe this this shot of the menu, uh, all the stuff in the background is also a a real time render as well. Oh wow! Uh, yeah. Um. Let me just go ahead and fire it back up again while we get yeah. ready to wait for another reply here. Indeed. Any characters you want to play in the game? I think an old world knight killed in a jousting tournament? Ooh, that'd be interesting. Join the ranks of the dead house. He's just one man. And they say that here. <laughs> Sandals and McGee over here. Look at him, what a fool. He think his sandals and... can help him. <laughs> can I kill a guy with this? Oh. Are you funny if I can? <laughs> Just... Behold, as I cast Ragdoll. <laughs> 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 It does look like it's just a knockdown. I don't think it's doing any damage. Oh yeah, what if I do this? <laughs> I mean, that'll probably do it. Oh no, he's getting back up. He's calling his people. What? If I did that over here, oh, right Slip. Slip. big slip. Now get over here. I want to see if I can just smack your big dumb head into the roof here. <laughs> and he's still alive. Once more, with him. Oh. Get him. Get him. Get up. Stand up. Whoa! He no clipped. Ref! My God, I killed him. If a vampire just yoked me into the sky and ripped out part of my soul, I'd leave. Fuck fighting him. Someone else could do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah.
What? How dainty. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> you could say he was. <laughs> no, you can't make a pun. You could say that he was a dead house ballerina. How dainty and refined. <laughs> I'll say old Soren is pretty quick with the whole swings and that. Indeed. Hmm. I can get some more details on this weapon of his. The old Shore. The old Shore. Hello, have you seen my sword? Let's get some more neutral lighting here just to see. I think the blade itself is black, made of a similar material to his armor, probably. That's really cool. I just got I just got confirmation that we we were asked not to show the videos, so I will not be showing the the placeholder videos. Fair enough. Yes. Uh, but yeah, this is this is what we got. Yes. And Indeed. from. And from what we've seen, it's uh, it's fairly impressive for like the sort of uh, action RPG portion. Like, you know, this is a really solid foundation. The combat seems to take a lot from uh, from what I can tell, like the Arkham games, I suppose. A little not really. bit. Devilish. I mean, there's not as much like. It doesn't seem like there's as much, um... Uh, I guess... I guess one of the big things about the Arkham games was, uh, the, um... Was the fact that a lot of Batman stuff were, uh, counters. Oh, yeah. You definitely a bit more of an aggressive approach, at least with the, uh... With the vampire. vampire. Someone's screaming off in the distance, and there's a door over there. Tis ah! hmm. You are my everything! Wah! <laughs> oh. You are my brother, and again. Uh oh. Ah. Here to be stuck. Oh, he sticks his leggy up though when he's on the stairs. Sometimes you just gotta, just gotta stick your leggy. Yeah. Oh, yep. I am. Uh, I am trapped. Wait, maybe I can. Oh, aha! I have freed myself. I live to kill again. I forgot the jump button. I'm not sure how much jumping I'll be doing in this game. Breaking these centuries old pots. Because I'm a rebel. A rebel kind of cause.
You play as the dead to fight the pottery. <laughs> it's funny because that's what I'm doing. <laughs> it's funny because it's like the tagline, but not quite. He said the line and I clapped. <laughs> he said the line and I was happy. Mm -hmm. Wonder who this guy is. Hello. How are you? Hi! How's it going? I'm, I'm I've good. got a sword. You're good. I uh, also have like, a sword. Do you like the uh, cobwebs that are over me? Uh, they look quite comfortable and warm, insulating. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, spiders are well known for making hotel quality uh, coverings, yes. Yes, yes. They're too good for us. Mm, really, really. They're, they're just the best. Um, I I really love your whole vibe, by the way. It's oh, well, uh, very... You know, I, 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 you know, it, it's really, you should really appreciate what you've got. I, I've, I've, uh, I've just had my skin and eyes. Bit of a, bit of a, you know, mess up on my part, getting rid of them and everything. Hmm. Well, do you I'm like my candles? Yeah, I, I do. Do you light them yourself? <laughs> Yes, actually. Um, I I just kind of, you know, I, I just wanted to set some ambiance, uh, you know, get some, get a vibe going. <laughs> Quite nice. Well, I believe I've taken up enough of your time. You have to get back to oh, business. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. You, you're you not above it at all. Um, but, yes, uh, I'm sure you've got lots of stuff to do. Um I, I, wait, uh, can't offer you any craft mac and cheese, can I? I'm not sure my digestive system would really appreciate craft mac and cheese being a blood-only diet, you see. Right. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh <laughs> <laughs> I should face <laughs> and see. There we go. I'm sure. I'm sure that's just what Dennis was intending. Exactly. Hey, you should you should show off our 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 game, the pre-alpha footage of our game, just to show the people what. With the potential of, of Dead House to be in actuality, it just it, fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, you've done that. Like, you've. You threw some guys in the air, you sliced them up, and then. You know, you, you talked to a. Fr <laughs> I like the balls on this man. He's just walking straight up to you with his fucking battle stance. Perhaps the dead house and that were the friends we made along the way. Indeed. God, <laughs> that guy folded. <laughs> He's dead. I strung him up like an accordion. What -a! Oh God, he comboed me. Uh, he is the storm that is approaching. Dash. 
quite a way away. I'm gonna try and get as far away from this guy as possible. And okay, so there is a oh, there is a threshold, but my God, it's very generous. Hmm. Wondering if there's an Easter egg in this game, like a lightsaber or something. <laughs> I'm. So Wait a minute. <laughs> I wonder if they'll do a Star War. <laughs> hello, it's hello, it's Deadhouse Sonata, and here I am to present my new my new vision. Place the dead to fight the stars. That's right. We're going space, baby. Space <laughs> vampire. <laughs> <laughs> What? Does that mean we get baby Soren now? Just like baby Yoda. Gasp in horror as I activate big head mode. <laughs> I am baby. Which monster is this? This is the vampire. Huh? Oh, wait a minute. The gameplay overview is on their website. Hang on. All right. The The gameplay overview is on their website. So let me go ahead and just... Hang on. Hang on. Hang on for just one second. We're going to go over to their website. Here we go. I'm going to show this off. Oh, Luke. I will also... Mm-hmm. Also, switch. That way you can see. Here you go. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Here is the combat arena and some footage I captured back in March. It's really quickly done and it's getting better. I should say this video is is publicly accessible on the Dead House Sonata website. So if if this is in, in fact the same video that is in the demo, uh big shrug. <laughs> all the time so probably by the time you're watching this it's out of date you can see on the left hand side we have three orbs one red one blue and one green and around that we have a meter of runes and uh. together that creates one of the first systems we're going to talk about on the left hand side you'll see the red orb and that represents vitality and when it's on top that's the physical plane are what most people would consider their health in regular games then you have the blue orb which represents your magic or mana and when that is on top you are in the ethereal plane the ethereal or the magical plane. realm and the green orb is your essence and when that orb is on top you are in the spectral realm and uh, that represents souls. Let me quickly talk about the trinary archetype system. Our death system is designed to be philosophically aligned with occult literature. A long-held belief of necromancy posits that death and life are not binary states, but rather a smooth and permeable continuum along which many beings can wander. The liminal nature of death has its roots in the occult, such as stories of St. Cyprian, the patron stain of necromancy are in voodoo like Baron Samdi where life and death are states that you can traverse oh, among. He had a mace. In most How games, do I that? when your health goes to zero, Ooh, that's cool. you die in oh, that scene. I, I, Even I games see. where you play the undead. In Dead House Sonata, this is not the case. When your vitality goes to zero, you switch states and switch realms and you will be able to traverse those realms. 
So here you'll see we lose all of our health and then we immediately turn to mist and jump to the spectral realm. Because of my tarot card selection, I happen to be able to use Insanguinate. And Insanguinate works differently depending on the realm you're in. If you're in the physical realm, it takes blood. But in this case, while we're in the spectral realm, it will take mana or magic from enemies. Now, if you lose all of your mana, you will then transfer to the spectral realm. Here, once again, we can use Insanguinate to get Essence. If you lose all of your essence. essence and you have no magic and you have no vitality, you will see the true death in Dead House Sonata. Here, however, if you use Insanguinate, you will start to get back essence. Again, when your essence gets to a certain state and you start using Insanguinate, you will get more mana. And once you have a certain amount of mana, you can then transfer back. So right now in the combat demo, the spectral and the ethereal planes, there's not a lot happening. But imagine puzzles, different enemies that are more powerful, boss fights in these realms, having to do things in the different realms to traverse in the game give us a ton of gameplay potential to explore. And if you're playing the demo with us and you're contributing, we would love to hear any ideas that you have because together we can make this game better. Let's briefly talk about the tarot card skill system. Oh, he's in Dead House Sonata, you don't have typical skill trees that you see in many other games. Mm. All the things that you do in Dead House Sonata are based off tarot cards. Each different class has many different tarot cards, and when you go into a level, you have to select a number of them in your deck to play. Here with the Vampire, we have a total of five tarot cards that we can use, and you can see here that we have four. On the left hand side, you can see we have Dance Macabre assigned to the left mouse button. This is one of the combat tarot cards for the vampire and these attacks cause bleeding, but these attacks are also very weak to armor. This also is because of a combination of the weapon that you're using, and in this case, the vampire is using a sword which does bleeding damage. Next to Dance Macabre, assigned to the right mouse button, is Zorin's Maw. This attack removes armor with a magical mace, but does very low vitality damage. So it's sort of like the mace in Blood Omen. Next to this, assigned mm. to the Q key, is Insanguinate, and this allows the player to steal blood from afar. Assigned to the E key is Misform, and if you tap it quickly, you will dodge, quickly changing into mist and coming back, staying in the physical plane. But if you hold it down, you'll actually change to the ethereal plane, staying in mist form. As you explore Dead House Sonata, you will discover that each of the skills have different modes and they all perform differently depending on what plane you're in. And furthermore, they will also play differently depending on the combination of tarot cards that you have in your deck. The reason we have created this system is at Apocalypse, we love hey, action RPGs. Creator. I personally love exploring and the discovery of different skills as you play them, whether you become, a, say, a fire mage or an ice mage. But the problem with these typical type of skill trees is once you've explored the whole tree, that sense of discovery disappears and you then start minning and maxing looking on the internet on what are the most viable meta builds. We wanted to create a system where this was for all intents and purposes impossible. So what you can do with Dead House Sonata is combine and create a deck from millions and millions of possibilities of combinations with tarot cards where the tarot cards themselves absolutely can be customized. And that's a topic for a whole other video, but by choosing the cards that you uh, have for each adventure or dungeon that you go in, uh, that really defines how you're going to play for that round. And that's what this system really caters for. All right, so let's talk quickly about Bloodlust, which is one of the customizations in Dance Macabre. 
And what you can see here is as you start to vanquish enemies, the more uh, blood that you spill, the higher that the meter gets, and you'll start to hear chanting. As your bloodlust increases, you will start to move faster and attack. You will also start to see death waltz be activated. Again, this is a customization within Dance Macabre, where once your bloodlust gets so high, you will start to uh, teleport, turn into mist, and attack enemies from afar. You will start to ah. attack faster, but the negative Ooh. side is your blood drain as a vampire also increases as your bloodlust increases. If you use Insanguinate, you will satiate your bloodlust, and your bloodlust will go back down to zero, but you will also go back to the slower state that you're in. The bloodlust mechanic itself is pretty interesting. It's based upon some a cappello uh, singing that we've done internally. It's all written in Latin. And depending on the tarot cards and how you customize it, we can have different voices, different chants. And at the end of the day, it's an interesting balance between how fast you want to go before you're forced to either use Insanguinate or get pushed into the ethereal plane. All right, well, I think this is a good place to end this quick overview of the status of the demo. We hope you like what you see here today. Uh, please spread the word. Tell everyone about Deadhouse Sonata. If you're it in the like community the... or you want to join and help us create and make this game better, please uh, check out DeadhouseSonata.com and join our Discord. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. It looks like the... Uh... Uh, it looks like... Uh... My train of thought just got completely snapped in half. Uh... It seems as though the guards are able to damage him in his spirit form. Uh, with those axes at first. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I think that's all I really have to show off here. Uh, oh, yep. It appears I have waited so long that I am now in the spirit world. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it happens. Yeah, you know. Sometimes you uh, fall into the spirit world. And I, I don't really see any skeletons around either. I must have. I must have screwed off. Uh, but yeah. Promising stuff. Indeed, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, brief look at uh, what's coming up from Dead House Sonata. Uh, Luke, did you want to do anything? Uh, I could just I could just cut the stream briefly, and then we could transition over to something else. Uh, yeah, we can we can figure some stuff out. Alrighty, uh, I will pause the stream briefly, and then we will be back. Oh yeah. <laughs>